Pakistan is all set to face it, its latest test. In two days from now, the country will vote in the national election. It is an election that will decide the next government of the world's fifth most populous country. 128 million registered voters will pick 266 representatives on the 8th of February. Forming the 16th parliament in a first-past-the-post system. But in the upcoming elections, women are breaking the age-old tradition. Major political parties have fielded various women as their candidates in different constituencies across the country. Some of them are seasoned politicians and some are relatively new entrants in the arena. For instance, Maryam Nawaz Sharif, who is the vice president of the PMLN. She is a prominent contestant from one of the constituencies of Lahore. This constituency is said to be a stronghold of the PMLN. Then we have Yasmin Rashid, who is a prominent member of the PTI. She has served as a provincial minister for health after getting elected to the Punjab Assembly on a reserve seat. Meher Banu Qureshi is also contesting the elections. She is the daughter of the PTI vice chairperson, Shah Mahmood Qureshi. Meher Banu Qureshi is contesting the election from one of the constituencies of Multan. This is a seat that her father used to hold before he was disqualified. Yasmin Rashid and Meher Banu Qureshi joined the other 51 women who are contesting elections from former Prime Minister Imran Khan's party, the PTI. The PTI has allocated 53 seats to women, the most number of tickets given to women among the major political parties in the country. Out of the 53 women, 28 are contesting the elections for the National Assembly constituencies, while the rest, 25, are contesting for provincial seats. On the contrary, according to reports, another major political party have fallen short of giving even five major, rather five percent of tickets to women. Even though as per the 2017 census, women make up for around 49 percent of Pakistan's population, on the 8th of February, only 839 women out of 17,000 candidates are contesting the election. While in some pockets of the country, women are barred from participating in elections by their husbands, according to reports, almost all political parties in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa have shied away from fielding women candidates. Now for more details, live with us from Islamabad to talk more about the upcoming election is our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik. Anas, my first question, tell us about the mood on ground just a few days to go, in fact just two days to go for the election. Well, uh, the mood is that the security has been beefed up. The ground is all set. I'm right outside the election commission. More than 260 million ballot papers. The security with the security seal have been published. They've even been transported to the local constituencies. From the local constituencies, they, they are to be transported tomorrow to the relevant polling stations. Uh, the, RO, the ROs, the, re, uh, the returning officers currently have those uh, uh, those uh, uh, ballot papers with them. Uh, additionally, the military that was to be deployed, uh, that has been moved as well for their deployment. And tomorrow sometime, that is on the 7th, we would be seeing the deployment of the military as well. Uh, in some hours from now, the campaign ends. Today is the last day to campaign. And the Election Commission a short while back has also issued directives banning all sorts of advertising to be uh, played on national or uh, um, or international or digital media in the digital sphere uh, starting tonight up until the day of the polling. That is what the ban has been enforced to ensure that there is transparency and accountability. With that, in case if the parties fail to ensure uh, uh, to follow the law, then their registration can also be uh, uh, the registration can also be in question or the the uh, the very candidate can also be disqualified under the 2017 election act priyanka right unless when we talk about some of the most distinctive features about this year's election uh, what would you say sets it apart we know about the sky high inflation uh, multiple pol uh, political crises economic crises imran khan behind bars but his popularity even so remains quite uh, resilient so to speak 
Well, the youth factor is something that uh, that is uh, closely washed out in every election. So uh, this election as well, uh, who the who, uh, youth get out to vote for, uh, whether they get out to vote for or not, that also remains a question. Of course, you, you mentioned uh, the problem of uh, the sky, rise, sky high inflation. Uh, the economy is also a problem in the country right now. So it's not it's not just. Uh, uh, it's not just it's not just the economy uh, that that would play in with the fact that it will also be employment. It would also be the reforms agenda that the parties have uh, have. Uh, you mentioned about the Imran Khan factor. Yes, uh, his party has been currently the most popular party in the country as per independent surveys, and they not being able to participate directly would have an impact uh, for sure. But what would be the level of the level of the impact? I think the answer to that will be known in about uh, less than 48 hours from now when. Pakistan goes to polls on the 8th of February. Uh, right, Anas, very quickly, just a final question there. Women in Pakistani politics have taken center stage this year. What's your take on that? Well, women, uh, Pakistani society has had this shift where increasingly from becoming a male dominant society, we're going towards female dominant legislation and legislative uh, workers as well. That I think is quite significant. Uh, we've got direct candidature uh, and uh, interestingly enough, the law uh, in Pakistan also uh, specifies that in case if the women participation with regards to voters as well is not up to a certain percentage then the polls in that uh, constituency uh, will be cancelled in 2018 I'll take you back in Deer there was an agreement between two parties that had disallowed uh, a, a political uh, women from the specific constituency in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa's Deer to vote and the election commission had swayed into action they had cancelled the, uh, the election in that very area they had cancelled those polls and as a result of which the polling had to be done again so I think that is a welcoming gesture and that would be very closely washed out. The most number of fielded candidates as far on women uh, is by the People's Party, the Pakistan People's Party, followed by the Pakistan Tehreek and Saf uh, under its uh, independent nomenclature and uh, then comes the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz, Priyanka. Anas Malik, thank you so much for all those inputs. Just less than 48 hours to go for the Pakistani election and of course we'll keep coming to you for our continued coverage.